The phrase, the show must go on, gets tossed around quite a bit in show business, but one Rockford theater group is taking that to a whole new level. 13 News reporter William Ingalls shows us how. There's a great speech in Henry V, the Shakespeare, where he's just talking about how the English are outnumbered by the French, and some people are saying, we need to leave. And he's like, go ahead and leave, because the fewer the men, the greater share of honor. The task facing Chris Brady and the entire Starlight team is enormous. An art that thrives off actors sharing a stage now has cast members sharing a computer screen instead. I'm so used to being with the group, being with the actors at rehearsal, doing our things all together, and now I'm doing it up in my bedroom to a camera. And it's it's a really weird experience, but you know, you get used to it. That new process involves using Zoom and Google Classroom to meet and review lines, choreography, and even a little bit of this. <laughs> The Starlight staff found a way to pre-record separate musical ranges to help the actors practice their craft and restore just a bit of normalcy. It feels good to get done with the work day and just hop right into what we're doing with our rehearsal time and just kind of let loose for half an hour. And Brady hopes that normalcy for Starlight can cast its own light once the show does go on. But as far as to keep the hope alive and everything, this will be a memorable experience for everyone involved, audiences as well as cast. And until they can bring that hope to people, both cast and crew will be giving their all to ensure they'll be ready come opening night. For your weather authority, William Ingalls, 13 News. Adapt and overcome, right? The starlight season is scheduled to kick off in June, but it does have a plan for later dates if the state's stay-at-home order continues.